The following program may not be suitable for viewers under the age of 14 and may contain mature themes and adult subject matter. Parental discretion is advised. Hello and welcome back to another edition of What We Play on Whiteman TV and Whiteman's YouTube channel. As always, I am Adam Olivero and thank you so much for joining me on this episode of What We Play. Uh, we're going to kick it old school with a new school game that's old school. <laughs> uh, but before we do that, I wanted to let you know you can always reach out to me through community at corp.whiteman.ca. And that's W-I-G-H-T-M-A-N. C A. All right. So, if you've ever played um, the uh, Heroes of Might and Magic games one, two, and three, not the new Ubisoft ones, although they're doing an okay job, but they don't appeal to me. Um, I like the old school games from the nineties. Heroes of Might and Magic Three Complete is my perfect version of Heroes, which thankfully is still being updated, and we may take that for a spin at some point on what we play. Um, or if you've ever played the uh, the Witcher games, and they have one called uh, The Witcher Tales Thronebreaker, or Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales, I think, uh, you'd be familiar with how this game works. Um, so I really enjoyed, as a kid, playing turn-based strategy games. Unlike uh, when um, Command & Conquer came out, in Command & Conquer Red Alert 2, Starcraft in the 90s, those revolutionized real-time strategy, or RTS. And those two series are still kicking around today. Um, and there's been countless other real-time strategy games. Uh, I mean, there's Rusted Warfare even on your phone you could play on Android. That's a real-time strategy game. But I really enjoy the turn-based games. Now, there is one on Android that's close to it. It's called Heroes. A Grail Quest, and it's very close. I mean, it plays almost exactly like Heroes of Might and Magic 3. But then, a few months back, at the end of 2023, a game came across my Steam recommendation list that just blew me away. And that's what we're going to try out today in a turn-based strategy theme. It's Songs of Conquest. <laughs> All right, so here we are in Songs of Conquest. And one of the things that's kind of lacking in Heroes of Might and Magic 3 that you can do here is we can play multiplayer and we have built-in game code and Steam Workshop hosting to play those. The community maps have Steam built in. There's a whole section of tutorials. You can make your own maps. Uh, this game came across my Steam recommendation list through an odd way. You're going to like this uh, path. I found it with this game through Golf... Or not Golf Simulator. <laughs> I found this game through Goat Simulator. If you've ever played Goat Simulator, that game, or Goat Simulator 2, or Goat Simulator 3, you will be familiar with a little studio called Coffee Stain Studios. They opened a publishing arm uh, in 2023, and this is one of their first games. A game by La Potion called Songs of Conquest, published by Coffee Stain publishing and they're doing that to try and encourage more uh, unique and quirky and different game modes so I went and bought this game it was not very expensive I bought the supporter edition to help them out in developing the game the game is still in early access as of late February 2024 and it still uh, plays quite well even in late February so I've been playing a campaign here so I'm gonna go and load my game load my campaign game here Oh no, I can't play it. Incompatible <laughs> save due to recent patches. <laughs> oh, I never even thought of that. Well, you know what? Let's start all over. Delete. You can just see it from the very start. Why not? Right here, live on what we play. Okay. Well, that makes sense that the game's in early access. They're going to be doing a lot of balancing, a lot of changing. All right, so what do we want to play as? We could play as the first song, the second song, the third song, and then a last quest. But here's the first. So this would be kind of the equivalent of 
going into um, Heroes of Might and Magic and picking your different campaigns, or in StarCraft, picking your different factions. Uh, so we're going to play the Song of Southheart. Cecilia Southheart, young Baroness of the Barony of Southheart, must face enemies within and without to hold on to her power and protect her people. Southheart will stand. Start here. Here we go. A new Baroness. So it wasn't that far off. I'm only in the first mission, so I really didn't lose a lot of time on my save game. In the year 593 AA, young Cecilia Southheart rose to Baroness after the untimely death of her father. When their shipments from Barkspur's rich mines go missing and rumors of bandits are brought to the new ruler, Cecilia leads a small force to investigate the missing resources and restore lawfulness to the Baron. There we are. We are starting right here. Start mission. We can change the difficulty. We're just on basically medium right now. Now, I am playing this through uh, NVIDIA's GeForce Now game streaming on the Ultimate Edition. That's why you just loaded so quickly. All right, and as we said, we're missing some shipments. So we need to go and find those. So there's Cecilia. Now we have to travel. Let's check out this Aurelia milestone. Got some more movement. Uh, so they've updated the game system to make a few more like quality of life things that we would have expected uh, in a game that's based around a theme that's been going since the 1960s or so. Turn-based strategy games have been happening. I mean, there was uh, Lords of Conquest on the Commodore 64, I think was my first sort of uh, turn-based strategy game I ever played. So now I can use the mouse to move around, do things, but also as opposed, I can use the arrow keys to move the map around, but I can also use WSAD and a little nod to first person shooters, especially so you're not reaching your left hand to the far right of the keyboard because most of us have a mouse on the right hand side, but it also supports left hand configurations, right? You can use your right on the arrows and your left with the mouse. So it's a very nice game like that. Uh, also, I'll just dive into it really quick here. If we go to the settings, you go to options and you go to controls you could change everything you could change every single little tiny control so one of the things i would uh, eventually like to do is see if i can play this with a controller uh, it might be a little interesting but i think i can make it work there's a play game called or sorry an app called re wsad that can bind um keyboard presses to a controller uh, or it may be interesting if you've got a extra mouse that's got a lot more mouse key buttons on it like mine does here at work i've got a logitech g602 hero so it's got six buttons on the side so essentially some of this extra stuff i could assign to a side button uh and we're playing at very high graphics everything just put to full uh, i would probably continue to play it on geforce now myself and hopefully that reswad would translate i don't know haven't tested that out i know reswad translates on my home computer into um the shadow pc and boosteroid but i'm not sure about geforce now what did we discover dead commander wore south heart colors instinctive sign of the corvus reserves stolen aura was one thing but an uprising against troops was more serious all right so what do we want do we want a dagger or do we want gold? This is very reminiscent of Heroes of Might and Magic, right? You would come across things on the map, and you have to make a choice. Do you want one or the other? Of course, the gold is gold, but the dagger... <laughs> I like that description. That's funny. Uh, we could add one to offense. Or I'm going to take the gold. Okay, you can see at the top right of my screen is resources for gold, stone, wood, glimmer weave, ancient amber, and celestial ore. And anybody who's played any kind of turn-based strategy game, that kind of thing will be familiar to you. You have to collect resources to build things. So at this point, I have ran out of movement points, so I'm going to complete my turn. Oh, I should go back here at this source of knowledge. And it's doing the enemy's turn. Now it's back to my turn. There, I gained some experience. 
<laughs> that's pretty much the end of my turn. Went back to get a, a tree that I missed. Down here, you can see this is where I have to go. Of course, the map is covered in War of Fog. Um, up here, we can look at Cecilia. We could do movement. We could do wielder sheet. So this is my equipment sheet for Cecilia. Uh, yeah, I see there's a tutorial. These are my spells. Right here, you could do these. They have built-in tutorials right inside the game, which is nice. Now, if you forget the tutorial, you can always go back to the tutorials and codex and look at everything up. So that's really easy to do that. We've got researching over here, troop information. I don't actually have any troops at this point. So there's not much I could do there. Of course, there is a bug report. So, cause this is an early access game. So if you come across something, they do want you to report it. All right, got 600 gold from that. Let's keep moving along here. Uh oh, who are you? Cecilia's Corvus Reserves, they had recently seen combat. Corvus Reserves are at your command. Scouts detected hostiles, my lady. The gold mine says has been seized by rebels. And the Flint Hills. Forced to retreat. How well armed. Crossbows and swords. Woof! Oh, they're taking advantage of us. Must uphold the laws. Gather the troops. Decide what troops you want to, and we can just say, yep, I want to move them all. Done. Close. And now we can see troop information. Too, as well. Alright, so our new objective is Cecilia must not die, retake Flint Hills, and take back the gold mine is an optional objective. But we're going to go for it. We are out of movement, so we have to go to the next round. Go down here and take a look check at this old camp. I'm going to take some rangers. I think that's a good call. That was a lot of gold, but I think I need the rangers more because I'm about to try and take back this mine down here. So I can zoom right in, and I can zoom out, which is cool too. And that is the end of my turn there. Uh, so it saves the game automatically, but I'm going to do a save game with myself as well. I'll just call it Adams again, so I've got that. Apparently I, like I said, they patched the game so much. So many patches in between, I should be playing the game more often. Okay, so here is the Rebel Militia, threat level towards Cecilia Unknown. Walk closer to find out more. So we're going to walk a little bit closer. Fair. An assembly of militia. 26 to 50 troops. And we have what? We have... 26 troops. 10 footmen and six range, 16 rangers. I say we go for it. Stand down, this mine belongs to the barony of South Hart. It belongs to me. <laughs> I love they even have the cool dialogue, but they didn't spend time recording dialogue. They wanted to keep it old school, or at least that's what I would, I would say, don't record dialogue. Just leave it the way it is. Prefer her storm, this one come. More interesting. Prepare yourselves. All right, here we go. So we have to place our attacker troops. Yep, I'm gonna place, take him. Place him down here. Yeah, okay, so this is a grid system, just like uh, just like it was in Heroes of Might Magic 3, uh, just like it was in a lot of uh, turn-based strategy games. So I can either withdraw to completely not fight, I can do the battle myself, or I can tell the computer to run the battle. I'm going to do manual battle, because I like to see and show you what it looks like. Here we go, we are in battle now. And my troops get to move first. This little green line is where I can move them to. And over here we can just check out what each troop has. They have 10 rangers there, or... Looks like... We got footmen, rangers, that's on my side. They have a militiamen. And a ranger. 
Wait, where's their ranger? Oh, I have rangers. Okay. Let's move my guys here. Let's see what they do. I see. I'm sorry. I have to look this up. This is the movement turns down here. So right now my rangers are going. Then their three guys get to go. Then it's round two. And then my two guys and their three guys. So let's see if we can't get my range a little closer. I'm going to move slightly. And then I get the second turn move. I just took two of them out. I just took a few of my guys out. I'm going to attack this one. Let's concentrate on that one. He's down. Let's go for the next group. This guy in range. Let you attack him. Losing some men here, but if I attack him, take him down, and you attack him, yes, I love the dramatic close-up victory shot. <laughs> That's great. So I lost four footmen, but we defeated them, and I got another level. So do I want to guard, order magic, gain two essence at the start of each battle round. Unlock the ability to bring four troops with you in your armor, in your army. Uh, melee resistance, melee. I'm gonna do upgrade command. That might come in handy. Let's gather this gold. We have taken back the gold mine. So just like in Heroes of Might Magic 3, you will receive gold each round from uh, different resources you've collected. Just like in Hero Might and Magic 3, there's a total fog and a partial fog. Which is cool. Uh, the partial fog basically means I can I have been to that part of the map, but I have no troops there to see what's actually happening at that point. There could be enemies moving through there that I don't know about. Okay, you got Tribute of Order. I just want to go up here and see what's up here. There's a camp up there. Before we into the next few rounds here. A group of trained soldiers are camped here awaiting orders. Nice. Got some more rangers. Some armor rack. Another large camp. An old camp. Take these footmen, please. More footmen, I like it. And what's up here? Can I get to that? There's another armor rack. Okay, I'm out of movement, so we gotta close our round. Oh! I got a piece of Archer's Gambeson. Cheap and easy to produce. It offers basic protection for troops of low rank. They'll get plus four to my defense because of it. You can see my character sheet over here, my skills. Now, can we get over here? We can. Got some gold. Shrine. Span the known world. Statues of the Empress can still be found spread across Aurelia, and many folks speak dreamingly of the golden years of Aurelia. Alright, Shrine of Aurelia. Visit it. Nice. Okay, so now we're going to loop back around, and we're out of movement. Oh, I didn't know you could double tap and do that. Uh, no available path. We'll get closer to this guy. Small forest to Iron Pleasant's block the road to the west. Flint Hills are free lands now. Free? Free to be attacked by bandits and pillaged by other baronies who will protect the people of you? Why not? As you can see, we are quite well armed. Caution to think carefully. Put down your weapons and questions. Or lawfully stand lawfully against me. My sword will deliver justice.
All right, Southheart will stand. An symbol of militia. All right, my guys are stronger, so they get to get to go first. And I think we're going to target this 14 down here first. Let's move a little closer to it. And... Oh. He can't actually get over there. Get rid of that. Okay. You take a few of them out right away. Uh, you move up here so you're a little closer in range. New round. Go for it. Get this guy. Mercifully get them. Okay, we're going to have to move a little closer to... I think, I think I want to attack them. He's down. Oh no! I lost my rangers. Okay, I have to get out of here. Over here. I wonder what it does to get those barrels. And we got them. Victory is ours. Lost four, five, six, so nine troops, but they lost quite a few. And we gained 490 experience. It's the end of our rounds, so we gotta start over again. Got a few materials for looking through that burnt building. And we're on our way to Forest Hills. We're almost there. 500 gold, a road sign. Oh, that looks like the next big person there. Banner bannerless knights, a few knights, a few archers, and several footmen. Okay, there's no other place for us to go because we've literally covered everywhere except for going into Forest Hills. So that's all we can do is go and attack the Bannerless Knights. So it looks like we're going to have to do that. There's no way around it. Let's see if we can get just a little bit closer so we can... Okay, we can attack them right now. Force of well armed surges wearing no Baronese colors came out to meet them. It's an upstart night, and I don't have a lot of people left here, so... Gotta be careful with my movements. Okay, let's go for it. I don't know, we're gonna have to use magic to get through some of this battle, I think. It's the only way around it, I think. Spells. Uh, we do not have enough essence to do any spells at this current time. Yeah, a little bit more essence. Alright, so I think I want to take him out, and I definitely want to go after him, the archer, and then we can deal with the knight. Um, but I go first, and then it's the archer, and then it's my archers. So maybe I should just move my guy a little farther forward. Yeah, of course. I figured they would be trying to attack my archers. Oh gosh. Okay. This is going to get real, real quick. Uh, so let's 
uh, use a spell, possibly. Uh, what do we got here for spells? Protection. Target friendly troop gets. Or quicken. Or we can wait for pacify. Uh, I think we're gonna cast protection. We're gonna put it on this guy here. Uh, okay, let's go. Okay, we got one of them down. And we're gonna target them. I may not make it through this battle because they've just gotten in front of my Do I go over here and attack, or do I just go for it? He's down. Okay. Now we have to get over here and help. Because... Oh, jeez. Okay, what else we got here? Clouded vision. Definitely using clouded vision. He's going to have a hard time seeing now. <laughs> Man, this is gonna be close. Okay, how, how am I taking him out? Because I mean, he's gonna hit me at least once before I get there. <laughs> this is just gonna be a war of attrition. All friendly troops get 10, 10, 10. Pacify, quicken, protection. I gotta do this. And then cast protection on him again as well. Do everything I can to try and get out of this battle. Oh, we are down to our last troop, each of us, and it's going to be really close. Uh, cast protection on him again. Wow. Wow. I went down to the last troop. I have one. I think one footman left, and that's it. <laughs> nice guard. Two. I have two footmen left. <laughs> that's it. Oh boy. Okay. And I'm gonna save my own save game as well too, as opposed to the auto save. Done. All right, we are going to enter the town. A crowd of peasants led by the village have come to greet Cecilia. <laughs> Seized our quarries. In our minds, I started sending shipments south towards Barkspur, where their patron waits. As well, the messenger never returned. All right, I got some troops in the peasant hut here that we can recruit. Uh, farmhouse? Claimed farmhouse receiving 75 gold each round. All right, what else we got here? A cozy tavern. A pile of riches. I always loved a pile of riches. <laughs> Five stone. Okay, receiving some stone. Pile of riches again. Six stone. Just claimed another stone deposit. It's a blacksmith. That's with our latest work. Oh, an archer's helmet. Nice. Okay, is there anything else in this town we can do? It doesn't appear so. And that's the top of the map, so there's not much room to go anywhere there. Down south it is. 
We are going to investigate Hoax Glade and take back the gold mine optional or claim the quarries is also optional. There's a way to get over there. I'm gonna have to come back that way to see it. Place an offering in the offering tree. Of movement. Okay, here we go. Next round. More footmen. Okay, all my four slots are taken up now, so if I wanted to add any more different types of troops, I would have to have a fifth slot. But we are going to continue on try and find that offering tree. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, Berserker Rage. I get plus one to damage, but lose some defense. Okay, let me save my game with the my save here. And continue on. We've got uh, about halfway through the show here. We're going to keep playing. Uh, the game we're playing is called Songs of Conquest. Uh, and my name is Adam Olivero, and thank you very much for joining me. And you can see it plays a lot like the classic uh, turn-based strategy games of yore. Uh, much like uh, Heroes of Might and Magic, which I just absolutely loved. And that's I played this game for the first time just around the Christmas break, is when I picked it up. And I just fell in love with it. So I thought I'd share it with you guys on what we play. Sacred Woods. So our optional objective is to place an offering at the offering tree, and that's what I'm trying to find. There's some fey spirits over here. Kind of blocking my path. Oh, they're right near the offering tree. That must be the offering tree right here, just south. Humans be gone. Not a good idea. Okay. Let's move you here. Let's move these 50 archers here. Okay. Here we go. Quite a bit of groups of uh, people we're fighting against. Okay. Let's move you up closer. Let's get you moved a little closer. Militia is really good. <laughs> uh, I want to want to mark walk my one. Oh, 
Oof. And there we go. Victory. I reached level four. I think command's a good option to do. Get one more slot for when that happens. I'm sure it'll happen soon enough. We'll find another type of troop to have. Most unusual tree Cecilia was her friend Vija of Thorncliff. Described them once, but are not done it justice. Let's take all. As the offerings were presented, the horse. Were Well, there's all kinds of stuff out here. Okay, where are we going from the offering tree, though? We have to backtrack, do we? Okay, we... Okay, that's the end of our turn. Got this waterfall. Oh, there's gold up here. In an old camp. Oh, there's a few things we have to visit that we missed. I'll take the rangers, thank you. This is almost warm to the touch. She studied many strange ruins and the times of Aurelia, but no one ever one that seems so alive. Ancient portal. I want to check out what this stuff is down here, but we have to stop our round. Old bones. Oh, I found a round shield. Or not. So now I've got a shield. And treasure chest level one, some gold, and a stone altar. Nice. All right, we're continuing on our mission. I see somebody blocking our path. Right here. It's challenging. A procession, procession of pikeneers and a troop of musketeers. Woof. Okay, well, I'm gonna save my game. Because it seems like this is the only way I can go. And let's give it a try. Suppose if we fail, we have to go back here and we can go to the peasant hut and recruit some more troops. Let's we'll see what we give it a try. Failing for the emergency, it's a barrier. Road is open for ore shipments from Flint Hills only. They're following orders. <laughs> but be warned. Our contract states that no one wearing South Heart colors are to be spared on the field of battle. <laughs> we are battling. Okay, this large group of archers, I'm going to completely move them forward right away because I'm bringing the battle of them. Let's go. Let's do this. So there's some pikemen and a musketeer. That's cool. Okay, right away we can attack these pikemen. <laughs> well, that didn't do much good. Woo! Took them all out in one swing. That's a lot of pikemen. 
Okay, we gotta be using our magic here a lot because we're gonna die very quickly. Deal five damage, get ten dash after troop drop. And protection on him. Oh, and I believe that's going to be it. And I have been defeated. Okay. What happens then? I hadn't played this far along before. <laughs> so they've taken all my armor and everything, and I've been defeated. And I believe that's just going to be game over, is it? Yeah. Let's load our game and load my game here. Okay, and I'm not going to attack them. I'm just going to turn around and go back here. right back to my peasant hut and grab some more okay and we are going to just wait here okay I'm gonna collect some more archers hoping having that many archers is just going to overwhelm them and uh, <laughs> it's pretty easy to do this because the enemy that I'm facing um, they're not moving anywhere they're just staying right there defending it and ironically over here is where we started the game right so <laughs> yeah we could just transverse this mountain and got to the other side of them <laughs> just kidding that's not how the game works we're also picking up a lot of our essences and arcanas too so by just staying still. Okay, we have as many troops as we can hold right now. And what I'm really hoping is my archers there can overwhelm them. So now we're going to go back here. Where I can speed up the movement, right? Save our game. So we're right here. And let's go for it this time. This is what it's all about to uh, play real time strategy games like this. Be like, alright, I'm gonna rethink my strategy. What do I need? I need to do this. Um, the pikemen can move a lot, speaking of rethinking strategy. So I'm gonna place them back a little bit. Here we go. Pike man can certainly move, and we have to take out this musketeer. Um, and unfortunately, my guy here is probably not going to be much help because he gets destroyed pretty quickly. Okay, attack here. See, there they go. Outside of range. Oh, I'm going to move some of these guys closer. Okay, that's better. Holy moly, the pikeman can attack from a distance, can they? Okay. Okay, we gotta see if we can get... Ah, it's reloading! Cast an insect swarm over you. And do I have that... Rally... Quick in. Protection... Pacify you. Okay, we are free to attack this musketeer. It's outside of our range though, so we're gonna get a little closer. And 
go for it. Okay, I've got to save his turn. Come a little closer. And some magic to try and help me out. Let me get him a little bit closer, even. Okay, you get him closer, too. And there we go. We've defeated the mercenaries. Good job, everybody. Level five, eh? We're gonna do a command again. I, I like having a large army when I'm playing these games. And uh, right now then, we're going to save our game. And start heading more northwards here. What do we have in here? Lots of burnt buildings. Somebody's been through here and just destroyed this whole place. This is Hope's Glade? Oh my gosh. And it was nights. We are liberating Barkspur. I am looking for survivors. Okay, we're out of movement, so. I got the horn gloves. No survivors there either. Sturdy tavern and a suit covered injured survivors. A minstrel. Found them. Found the survivors. Okay, so now we've got to go over here. And then up to here. Continuing to make our way down towards Barkspur. Oh, what is this? Wow, that gave me quite a few different things. Gave me S uh, Chaos, Order, Creation, Destruction, and Arcana Essence for one battle. That might come in handy. Uh, Mystic Hermit. Yes, I will gladly take that. Thank you. 
you can see the influence on um so there's no available path there and we still have way over here if you remember there was this i can't get to it there's got to be some path up this side of the of the map to get there but continuing on with the main story here Oh. Gazing across the lake, Cecilia saw the settlement of Arksburg. It was clearly occupied by another force of Barian mercenaries. This one led by a wielder. Final battle to retake this region. Okay. So. I need to prepare. Um, first, we want to save our game. Oh, there's like uplifting music. I like it. Get a little bit closer. Whoa, they're coming. Oh, gay. That, uh, good thing I saved my game. Let's go for it. But I think I'm gonna die. They attacked me. How good are these minstrels? Well, I just lost three of them. They haven't even done anything. Fury! Go, minstrels! One minstrel. Uh, he's gonna totally take it right there. There you go. The minstrels are gone. Oh, okay. Okay, we're at least making some headway. Jeez. I like to see him step out of there. Oh, I stepped on my own mind. <laughs> Defeated him, though. That was a little easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> Brought before Cecilia. I beg that we negotiate sort of I'm a breeze of the courts, battalion, and stranger to these parts. I can see the field. I'll withdraw my forces. Colors them. Was it your weapons that armed the bandits who caused the uprising of my mines? You had a lawful claim to these lands. I'll 
withdraw our services. With Barkspur restored to the South Heart rule of law, Cecilia gathered her troops once more and sent out to pursue the Topaz Battalion and prevent the occupation of Ashbourne. For this, she would need the aid of the Vilja of Thorncliffe, Warden of the South Heart and Cecilia's longtime friend. Oh, cool. A little video. With grim conviction rose Cecilia of stout heart To crush rebellions and push back another upstart Lady Hammond claimed her settlements Settle it We begin With the tragedy at Hope's Glade. By the way, that video was really cool. I like the little minstrel singing in it. And fresh in her mind, Cecilia Southheart set off in swift pursuit of the Barry and Mercedes hired by Lady Hammond. She must get to Ashbourne and defend her holdings. There was likely many people in the region still loyal to the Hammond family, so she would need more faces, forces before facing the Barrelian mercenaries. She would call on her old friend, Vilja of Thorncliffe. Vilja never backed down from a fight. I hope I'm saying those names correct. Uh, but that is the Songs of Conquest. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, playing through the Songs of Conquest with me. And like I said... Uh, my name's Adam Olivero, and if you've ever played Heroes of Might and Magic, um, or if you've ever played the uh, Lords of Conquest on the Commodore 64, and if you have, I really want to talk to you at community at corp.whiteman.ca, C-O-R-P dot W-I-G-H-T-M-A-N dot C-A, because that game goes back a long time, goes back to the 80s. Uh, but we are playing Songs of Conquest. It's available right now on the Epic Game Store or on the Steam Game Store, both of them. Uh, support Lava Potion to uh, create this wonderful game that is still in early access as of late February 2024. So get yourself in there and start playing through the game. Uh, and it will play fine and will play wonderfully, as you just saw over this past hour right now, in early access as we march towards the version 1.0 release. Lots of other really cool early access games are coming up that we might try on what we play. And I may even throw it back and play Heroes of Might and Magic 3 in the next episode of what we play so you can see how that compares to Songs of Conquest. That's next time on the next episode of What We Play. Till then, take care. <laughs>